pulling out the green and red shells with plenty of viewing options to knock around this week. And oh, watch out for the banana peel. Oh, saved you on that one. On top of Mario and his cart full of nostalgia overload, we've got a few one-word title wrecks that all couldn't be more different, from basketball to road rage to painting, plus an RT25 celebratory pick that just anime leave you wanting more. That was as painful to write as it was to say. Rotten Tomatoes is taking off from the free throw line, and you know it's gonna be a slam dunk on this week's What to Watch. Bowser is coming. I'm not afraid. I'll do anything for my brother. We're going to save him. Breaking some bricks on its way into theaters is the Super Mario Bros. movie. This is the first attempt to adapt the famous video game franchise since 1993, which was a live action offering that felt like one big game over on the movie side of things. We don't like to talk about that one. But it is 2023 now, baby, and this time it's animated. And audiences are eating it up like a red mushroom with the audience score currently at 96%. Of course, big time animated movies means a big time voice cast nowadays and this one does not disappoint. I'm talking Chris Pratt as Mario, Charlie Day as Luigi, plus Keegan-Michael Key as Toad, Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach, Jack Black as Bowser, and Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. And according to my fond memories of playing Mario Kart, that covers most of the major players, I think. Except Yoshi. Where's Yoshi? Tell me Yoshi's in it. And to ensure that this beloved franchise was adapted the right way this time, Mario Bros. creator Shigeru Miyamoto served as a producer and leaned on the fine folks at Illumination, who made the Despicable Me films, to handle the movie making part of it. Smart. And if it's a hit, you can be certain this is just the start of seeing all your favorite Nintendo properties on the big screen in one big shared universe. Where we heard that before. You would have to have a pretty compelling pitch. I can tell them the one thing the other companies can't compete with. Our basketball division is terrible. I do not love it. And now onto another mega pop culture staple served up in movie form, Air, which tells the incredible true origin story of the world's most famous shoe line of all time, Air Jordan. Posting up strong just under 100% on the tomato meter so far and certified fresh, this one has been impressing critics with many things including its director, Ben Affleck, and star, Matt Damon. In fact, top critic Tim Grierson from Screen International called it a crowd pleaser made with panache and smarts, adding that Matt Damon is immensely appealing and Ben Affleck produces one of his most irresistibly entertaining dramas. And if you're a little worried about offending the guy behind your coolest pair of shoes, you'll be glad to know that MJ himself, Michael Jordan, did meet with Affleck prior to filming and gave it his blessing. You have this serene Zen Buddhist thing going on. Hey. Another one that's worth a slab of your watch time this week is the new Netflix comedy series, Beef. Obviously you're interested now that you know it stars Ali Wong and Steven Yun, but when I tell you that they play two strangers involved in a road rage incident that slowly consumes their lives, I'm just hoping you'll stick around to the end of this episode before starting it. And BT Dub, if you need a quick education on road rage, come visit LA for a few days. The series was created by Lee Sung Jin, who was actually just hired to pen Marvel Studios' Thunderbolts, lucky, which is good news for them because Beef is currently certified fresh hovering around the 100% mark on the tomato meter. And to back this all up is top critic Angie Han from The Hollywood Reporter who called it a feast of sharp comedy, wild thrills, and disarming empathy. You're lucky I'm an artist instead of a woman who says really mean things to other women. You were an artist. If you're looking to go to a special place this weekend, why not try a theater screening the Owen Wilson comedy, Paint? Okay, first off, to answer your question, no, it's not a biopic about Bob Ross. Rather, this is a comedy where the main character played by Owen Wilson was inspired by Ross. Wilson plays Carl Nargle, and he's got an awesome van to go along with his amazing perm, and is Vermont's number one public TV painter until someone starts challenging the throne. Kind of feeling some Anchorman vibes, aren't you? Paint was written and directed by Britt McAdams, whose past work on Tosh.0 seems makes him a great fit to bring some big laughs in the PG-13 setting. I'm not a criminal. Oh, that makes me sound more like a criminal. It's complicated to be an outlaw nowadays. And because we're always looking for a reason to party around here, this final wreck comes courtesy of Ron Tomato's 25th anniversary. Please don't sing. Instead, feast your eyes on the Japanese anime series Cowboy Bebop. It's also celebrating its 25th anniversary this year and is considered one of the greatest animated series of all time. It's set in 2071 and follows a bounty hunting crew aboard a spaceship called the Bebop. Its one and only season is certified fresh at 100% on the tomato meter, with an audience score quite high as well at 90 
95%. And with flavors of Western, noir, science fiction, and more, the critics' consensus calls it a head-spinning array of genres and references and must be experienced. And particularly for Westerners, it's considered to be the gateway series into the anime genre as a whole, which is what happened back in 2001 when it became the first ever anime to appear on Cartoon Network's late-night broadcast block called Adult Swim. If you know what we're talking about, consider yourself part of the cool club. Well, there you go. Now you have the answer, or five answers, to the question, what should I watch? Be sure to let us and your fellow viewers know in the comments what you did check out, whether it was on this list or not. Remember to check out RottenTomatoes.com for the latest updates on scores and reviews for everything mentioned, as well as the movie and TV world at large. And seriously, check out the new RT25 page where we are celebrating 25 years of Rotten Tomatoes with all kinds of stuff, including, wait for it, our brand new car game, putting your movie love in mind to the test on 25 years of tomato meter scores. That's all for today, Fresh Family. Until next week, stay fresh.